<clears throat> Hello, can everyone hear me? Welcome back. It is not on guard, but it is me, Zui, bringing you this exhibition between the long-awaited Ren versus Chorus. I hope everyone is doing well. We might wait a bit for viewers to roll in. And uh, I'm sorry to say this, but there seems to be a bug going on with the stream control. That is the scoreboard that you see me use all the time, so... I might have to do some troubleshooting real quick, but welcome everyone for coming on here. Uh, let's see if we can get this fixed real quick. Hello, Mr. Celery. And um, before that, I would like to say really thank you to the players and everyone for supporting. But really, there seems to be a pain with the system. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I do need to fix this. If not, uh, we might have to run it a bit scoffed like without the without the in-game in-game overlay but i would ideally really really want that in-game overlay hello mr corius thanks for coming i will start the call i guess but i do really want to fix this overlay i've been trying to fix this for a while but it's okay we can deal with this sorry give me guys a second i would like to trouble this troubleshoot this stuff if possible uh, Oh, that's not good. Uh, but I guess we'll have to trouble this, uh, troubleshoot this later. Because tomorrow I got attorney to run. I, I better, I better have this stuff fixed. Um. Oh wow, uh, technical difficulties. You might guys have to wait a bit, but let's. And I don't want to bother the players too much, so let's give it um, a time limit. If we don't fix it within a bit. And then we'll just start with it, no problems. Mm -hmm. So, if you have any thoughts with uh, with the game, with the tournament stuff, please do let me know in the chat whether what you want to see, what uh, setups, what what kind of offense you do want to play. I do want to preface these two players have quite distinct play styles, especially Corius, because you got you got a really uh, offensive, and he jumps a lot to boot. So. Very, very interesting. Much love from Mongolia. Hello, Mr. Uh, Luniaf. I don't know how to pronounce that. But yes. Mm. I'm not sure why it's not working in this folder in particular. Mm. We might actually have to run this. Run this without it. Hmm. This is not good. I do not want to run without an overlay. But we might have to. I am so sorry, guys. Uh, all right, let's get in the call, get the people in, and let have them introduce themselves. So I have started the call. I hope everyone can hear it clearly, including the game music. Hi, Hello. Me too. Hello. Konbanwa. Hello, uh, Mr. Korias, uh, Yutaso, and um, then. Uh, welcome. Thanks for accepting the invite. And uh, would you like, guys like to introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. Uh, so today, uh, there will be a first to 10 between uh, these two players. And again, once again, thanks, Yuta so san for being our translator. So I'll let him translate. Okay, no problem. Mm. えっと、じゃあ、どうしましょう。自己紹介。じゃあ、レンさんからお願いできますかはい。オッケーです。じゃあ、えっと、どうも、こんばんは。え、PGW の連想言います。えっと、ま、今日はシスで実績頑張ろうと思ってます。えっと、ま、新屋線結構あの、あまり自信がないですけども、頑張りたいと思ってます。よろしくお願いします。はい、ありがとうございました。あ、good uh, evening. Uh, this is Ren from Pro PGW. Uh, it's been a while since my last FP10. I use many different characters, but today I will use Sis. Uh, uh, wait a minute, please. No problem.
Uh, I'm not sure about Nia much, but I will do my best. Thank you. Yep. Ah, okay. How about uh, Corius? Corius. Ah, yeah, three Corius, I'll ask you. Ah, 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 I'll ask you. その連さんとね、キャラクターはお互い変わったんですけども、こうやって10先っていう舞台に立てたことがとても嬉しく思いますので、今日は楽しんでいきたいと思います。よろしくお願いします。はい、えー、wait a minute, please. Ah, nice to meet you. I, I'm Corias.、Uh, thank you for this opportunity to speak with you today. I was a fan of Ren Charlotte in GBVS. I will enjoy today. Thank you. Yep. Thank you all for coming, and once again, huge shout out to Yu Chaso San for coordinating this effort. Without him, I wouldn't have、uh, so much,、uh, so much fun and easy time、uh, hosting these exhibitions. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much, and I really hope to meet you one day, maybe in、uh, in、uh, in Evo Japan. But、uh, we'll see. We'll see. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will close the call. Good luck to、uh, Ren san and Korea san.、Uh, yeah, first to ten. Good luck and have fun. See you guys later. All right. So we got the call closed. We have the people in. And I think I have the layout fix. I am a genius. I was panicking there, guys. <laughs> Apparently, the, I'll explain it after the stream. But again, very hype set. Ren is notably not that common. In replays and stuff, so you don't see his gameplay a lot. Obviously, in tournaments, you see him so much. There's so much footage of him. And Corius, if you play online in Japan, you see him. Like you, you will definitely see him. You'll be thinking, how is this guy jumping so much? <laughs> That's my first impression. He's so well-rounded offensively. Even Rookie says it himself. But today we will see the showdown between two. Menaces. I, the, I think menace is the right way to describe them. Demons, may I say? Both players, despite the character picks, show so much adaptation, so much proficiency in each day of their characters. Corius does not really use a lot of gimmick setups. He focuses a lot on lockdown and the basic 50/50. So you don't see a lot of raging strike stuff. If anything, I've never seen one other than that one vod really early on when people were posting the raging strike setups. But this is a battle of solidity and stability in terms of offense. And as Rookie says, we would like to see what defensive options they pull out. Off to a strong start, using that far heavy, and it's something that Corius likes to do a lot. He likes to use、um, far heavy, especially the non-dev version. Nice catch on the fuzzy, probably looking to move forward or a fuzzy jump. And here you go. Here's the offense started. And Corius, very active on defense, whether it's jumps or movement. One thing I would also like to know is the round start option of Ren, of which he is really a huge user of the L Fireball, not the EX one. And yes, you see her, Corius, very active jumper, getting those opportunities and the lockdown. As I say, the huge shimmy does not confirm in the corner. Small tap from each player, but one converts. Corius using that two M to his advantage. Such a strong, strong start for Corius. Just tapping him here and there, making sure that Sheiks does not move off them because you do not want that character to move. Ren using a lot of the non EX options, which is really smart. Compared to rookies, he does not engage.、Um, He's,、uh, but sorry, he engages quite a bit, but not all the time. Especially with his commitment to EX moves, that's the personal difference that I've seen him, yeah, seen him so far. Rookie says, does not hesitate to use EXs, and he compensates with that, with the eager to approach. So sometimes he he either goes in or goes out, no, he stays out, and that's the stalling aspect. About six, but look at this. Ren with the corner control, getting two base. Corius active defense does not earn him the right guess, and only one stock ready. So Ren has to be extremely careful. Luckily, Corius is not in SSB state, but one more push, he'll be on there. Has to pay attention to the jump ins. Corius does not choose to end here, knowing that Ren can easily use one of those ultimate skills to bait it out. Pulls it back. Such a strong move. Repositioning and the no escape fuzzy match. Ren 
No more BB. This is the last moment for him. And Corey is slowly pushing him to the edge of his life bar and his resources. Nice tap and a confirm. That would be the first one going to Corey is, as they feared. But despite him jumping so much, he does not jump recklessly. He jumps in a good position. And most often when I see him jump, he's jumping on the edge of the jump heavy distance. And nice use of the 6 6 H combo. You don't see that often. And Ren, very well known at this point for using micro dash combos, especially during Evo. He just just pulling that off like it was no problem. Trying to BC bait, but Ren staying really patient. Earns himself space out of the corner. First BC finally being used and a small tap does not convert, but that was not what he was looking for anyway. Corey is getting a huge straight hit conversion and pulling back with the medium strength reverse. Look at that lockdown in the corner. Ren is not trying to take a turn, not trying to <coughs> punch death away. And what a cross up end! Oh no! He was putting that input early, early on. And when that instant ran out, it just turned into Raging Strike. Corey is going for the corner. And again, very active user of the Far Edge. One of the strongest buttons that Nier has. And speaking of strongest buttons, 2M is definitely up for condition for that. Look at that damage efficiency that he has. Going for the pole. And overhead conversion. Corey is going for the second stage. And look at that forward movement. Baits out. Ren's response gets hit by the low. And that's a perfect. What a lockdown 2-0 against Ren's Sheiks. His Oki is just so, so solid. Variable timings and a focus on lockdown keeping the game state. No gimmicks to just brawl his way through. But nice confirm by Ren using that crouch light, which is quite far in uh, vanilla. One of the key points was that he could fit three of them, which made the stagger especially scary. But look at that damage. Overhead gets parry. Very nicely done. One of the aspects that of near that Elsa says about about her matchup it's the low way matchup especially and the parries and all but look at that corner carry still has a magic pixel so he won't get chipped out actually my question is how he will handle the Oki scenario especially when he has 100 meter you got the parry you got the ultimate DB how will you handle this and the cross up I was wa actually wondering if he input the wrong direction to it but Ren looking strong. That was actually quite a fast round. And again, the L fireball. And look at that combo conversion. Ren's offense is no joke at all. Pushing to the corner. And all things considered, actually quite a control game between Sheiks and Nier. You expect a bloodbath, but this is very, very well controlled from both players. Laying each other's cards on the table. Very sequential. Sequentially, like natural events into each other. And that's the jump I talk about Cor with Corius. He jumps more in an arc that if you jump to respond or you jump that timing, that far heavy is there. Using that dash medium to get escape from the corner and that air grab. So, so active with the end here. It's a good choice as well because of how many choices Sheiks can do in the air. Especially with the ultimate dive, the Void Claws. I would like to call it Val Strikes a lot because it looks just like that. Dodge, you cannot do that. Maybe on the ultimate, but not with the EX recovery as fast enough. Ren staying calm in the middle, using the parry, trading that pressure and the ultimate parry. Ignoring that cooldown. Reduce damage though, but this, that does not matter. Finally, Ren being a bit more active for killing death, but Corius is just so so aware. Can play without death. And oh man, that death reversed ultimate. Just such a strong move. Full conversion as well. Ren catches him moving backwards twice. Does not convert though. Goes to the other side. This might be bad. He uses the super. Does he cancel? And dodge is there. Ren uh, will get smacked in the face with the close heavy. Corey is going 3-0 on top against Ren. This is not a result that was expecting too much. Yeah, sorry, but this might be the download for Ren. Nier is just such a hard character to handle, especially when the games can be so short with her. One combo does so much damage, does like 40%. And look at that chip going for the mix-up. And nice fuzzy throw by Ren. Corey is throwing up a bit too early against that Histon. And look at that strike throw, mounting up the damage rapidly. Swapping corners though. This is one of the strings of Nier's. So many combo routes. So much Oki and Ren does not choose to contest. If there is a DP, he will be dead. And the side switch! Push him to the corner. SSB available. Does not use it yet. 
Not optimal combo round it, but that delay tech will cost the chip. Cross him? No conversion, unfortunately, and no converts once again. He has no cooldowns. He has no depth. Crosses up, gets the counter hit, and the SSB and come back. What a comeback from Ren. Dodges the death DP. Super aware of the options. Very nicely done. Oh, tries to end here, but Nier's Aerostall also has one. Can be cancelled as well into one of our specials. Nice job from Ren using the drafts to keep her out, but he gets teched in the air. He tries to fuzzy grab. Guess what's the corner? 6 6 stage combo. And Cornus will get a huge load of meter to boot. No BB bait this time, going for the overhead. And it is a loopable situation. 55 meter to go, so one more BB bait. Fighting his way out of the corner with the lows, and Ren is just gonna commit to the dive. Forces one BP out of Corius. This might be good if he can find a way to land a super, but unfortunately, Corius using that new DP change, so that is unblockable if I'm not wrong. Oh, that is a bit dicey for Ren over there, and that's a cancel on the successful JU hit. Look at that damage return. No matter what the hit is, it is just so scary. Chorus for going for the basic mix out. Going out of the corner, gaining the correct position back for himself. Gaining 90 meter. And one more situation. And a super available. Oh. That death stagger looked a bit goofy. And Chorus was just queuing those specials in. Valstrax in. But Ren is still in the corner. The 2U tag. And the pullback. EX does so much damage. Chorus. 4 0 up. Frame trap with the 2M. A nice catch on the back dash. Ren recognizing the bait. And that's a combo for sure. Using the clone to get in? No. He will just keep the position and catches the forward movement. You cannot dash well in this game. Tries to bait out a fuzzy mash. And the initiating. The parry to stop the offense, push to the corner once again. Chorus has this uh, SSB it does so much damage. He does not have the max damage available. That's one to three stacks only. But still, look at that pulls back, going for the straight throw mix up. One more and nice timing. But he is in chip range. This does not look good for Ren at all. And the ranging strike will get caught. And once again, another comeback from Ren. He's been put in so many precarious situations and I would like to say Ren is really trying to wrangle his way back in the neutral but look at that lockdown of the Coriuses. Just no chance to come back. There's so much control especially with the M slashes. Oh, this is in the corner using that DP to keep it in. Pull it back for the mix up. Super plus frames and the far heavy. Just so so strong. Tries to BC but it will whip big time. Only one left though for Corey, so he will be having that damage multiplier. Beating that BC out. Ren still in the advantage right now, despite his health deficit. Drops the Michael Dash combo, gets the bad tech, but does not confirm that pop. And the finish. What a sequence from Ren, just so composed and suddenly explodes on Corey's auto in a clinical, clinical fashion. That's it. And oh, bypasses the death. Going for the simpler combo right now. Keeping it in the corner. Goes for the low and baits the throw. Unfortunately, not Street Fighter 6. Can't do the same, but catches the fuzzy throw attempt. Finally, Corius buckles and Red will be able to end this one very, very good. Okay, no raging strike. So, he might actually give a chance to Corius. And wow, nice use of the 5U. Close range, unreactable, like a fireball poke. Like how they teach you in Footsie Zab book. He's a fireball in poke range. Wow, non EX parry. Hard reading. Corey's button and poke attempt. Should be able to get a micro dash or micro walk combo in the corner. He does. And once again, enforcing that mix up, but does not confirm that combo. Dive get huge. That was so meaty. Hitting the toes cleanly. And look at that. Going for a perfect. One, two. And Ren looking much better this time around. So much to mention. There's so many subtle interactions, especially with Ren's movement and starting to ramp up the forward entry against Corius. Corius jumping a bit less now as well. Going for the reset. Some players like to go for the full cooldown reset, especially from triple auto attack into 
the EX dive, but Red likes to go for that tap. Ooh, nice bait on that delay fireball. Pops him up as a launcher and gets a 100 meter. Very comfortable. Two slashes and Red really changing up the tempo this time around. Took four games, so still quite a quite a nice lead for Corius. Can't get comfortable yet though. This is a first to 10 after all. Oh, nice run under Corey is being more aggressive in the round start, pulling back for the mix up. Ren still not mashing that too much. You do get a full combo on the DP after all. Pushing him in there. Will he use the ultimate? He does. Going for the low and nice. Ren being super patient, waiting for him to land in order to do the BC. Does not choose to teleport though, using that ultimate Rekka instead to push himself out of the corner. Chorus making great use of that death chain, but connects in the air. It's an air starter, so it won't go for that long. Corius, two turns left, catches the low. Ooh, tried to fuzzy match over there, but Ren will take it comfortably. Should not need super at all. Ren will go free against four. What a download. That was something else. Wow, Death Starter taking up all the space in the front. Although, if you dodge it, it's a lot of weapon coverage. Minus eight on a block shrink after all. Push him to the corner. Swing! <laughs> what a grab. Gets to reset the situation as well. And very comfortable meter lead. BC against the high mix up this time around. And the DP, this is what I've been talking about. Corey is finally showing it after seven games. Woo! That took a while. Rem was not biting until just now. Show that the round before the game before. Very nice control this time. He does not reset. Ren falls for the frame trap. And probably prioritizing the ultimate once again. The mind games are just so so strong. Even if you bait the BC, you have so much control because of how plus it is. And Corius here does not attempt to push too far in. In the perfect range to end the air that dive. And that's a perfect for him. Corius biting back against Ren. That DP just so, so scary. Forces you to not contest death every single time. She does a super, uh, does a special move. Nice confirm into the EX. Pushes him all the way to the corner. And try to fish for 2M, 4M. And once again, DP. Corius very aware of the matchup. There you see it. Slowly pushing him into the corner, methodically, and the jump! 4H, 4H, 4 jump, jump H. And there you go, that's it in the corner. Gonna use that delay to re 6 H, and that is so much damage for a starter. He is just dead over here. Okay, never mind, no raging strike. But Corius still manages to poke him with the JU. No, no rising combos in this town. <laughs> oh, that's a DB show. Carry him to the corner once again, Ren. How will you approach this? Let's with the grab. And ooh, he was jumping. This time is Ren doing the jumping. He will get the meter for sure, but will he use the super? He will. Getting that one BCR, very valuable since Nier only has a parry DP. Except the ultimate. Ultimate one just punches you in the face if you hit it. But here you go, Ren. Solid, solid round. No mashing for you. Try and go for the dive kick, baiting it out, and the frame trap option using the M Rekka. Most of the time, if you do the L Rekka, it is a true strength, but there left the gap for Corius. Knowing that he's really active on defense. Ren being very patient, delaying a bit before he mashes against that. Alright, standing still, but gets caught in the toes. Push to the mid screen, and that is just so so plus. Just barely in range for the close heavy pressure, so uses that low to end it. And nice whip punish using that far heavy. Corius, seven stocks remaining, plenty to go, and he will spend the super. No, oh, that kills. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, death damage is nothing to joke about. I am I am severely off the mark with that call. <laughs> Woo. This is. Such an intense match. Both players are moving so, so carefully in small increments, but will Ren change it up? Will he change the tempo as the set progresses? Uses that to use super strong, super long. And Ren getting chunked out for 40%, including Chip and one BC taking away. Will he be forced to BC again? He's not doing it. 
He's basically at SSBA range now. The cross up, the raging strike. No need for that. Just gonna super for the optimum. Optimum swag. Ooh. Battle two. Engage. That is very, very scary. And nice awareness from Ren once again using the parry. And since he caught Chorus with the projectile, he gets a combo here. Reset once again. This time using the clone. Oh no, that's a whiff aerial. And that's gonna be quite punishing. And nice route. I like this a lot. Changing it up. And Chorus jumping twice. Looking for a bait probably. Counter hit confirmed with the M Wrecker. Oh, point blank. Gamma Blade. That's just gnarly. But Chorus moves out of position. Taking enough space once Ren jumps up. Oh, there you go. He can go out, go back. Take the same space and BC. Lucky for Ren, he has plenty to work with, but Super Wooey Reach. It does! And it kills! Very nicely done. Corius on zero BP. Trying to lock him down with as many specials as possible, but Ren throws it all into the super. Tries to go for a read once again with the parry. But Corius once again will get rewarded for a lot of damage. Cross up hits once again. Ren jumps though, so it's not a clean one. Still gets to restart that combo. Corus getting super available, but he will go for the Oki instead. Much, much more valuable since Red is solo, but the air grab, super aware of his intent to escape the corner. Corius, how many air grabs has he gotten already? I'm pretty sure he got three. Oh, four. Will he get more against the Sheiks? Great strategy, too, because Sheiks can't just use the dive carelessly at that range, but prioritizing the corner carry once again, Red. We'll go this time go for the EX dive setup. Keeping the plus range. Strike throw and Corius is already down to 30% health. Tries to get a bait once again, but it does not work like before. Quarter for Corius. Gets the low! Gets the fake with the roll and Oki once again does not do the BC. But because of that, Corius gets the whip punish and no super. One more turn, tries to go for a cross up. Ren, a one situation left, but he bounces to the other side. Chip damage, look at that! Oh man, that was a gnarly situation. Two to you, reverse, just chunking yourself off, and one situation was enough to end Ren. Not even one situation, it was one touch. Chorus in the corner. Getting creative with these setups, very nice. Rookies does that L fireball quite a bit. Although getting the bait, he does not get a full reward off that. So he will be once again in the corner. Cross up successful. And and here. Oh! Miss input? He got the parry over there. Dive kick delayed. And Ooh, that is unfortunate. He debated two options, including the PC. Got the hit, but he wasn't plus enough. He wasn't low enough. So Red will eat a huge combo. That helped just evaporating. He's forced to use his BC. Last is the best. Goss is to the other side, and both players recognizing that situation correctly. Gets the hit at the Raging Strike. What a comeback once again by Ren. Woo. Oh, it tries to use the clone this time around, but you know the drill, guys. It's damage time. Goes for the pull. Oh, does not successfully catch it. And Corius does not get that 6 h off. Still has a chance for Ren for him to escape the corner. Nice jab, but the dodge on the M Wrecker will grant him a chance. Chorus still has a lot of life to play with. Ren has to make use of the situation. Fireball, go for the super route probably. Getting that huge huge damage and the BC advantage. Chorus does not have access to the SSB parry yet, so. His reversal options are relatively limited, but with the grab, that is fatal! And Corius will catch the 2M. Super not needed. Oh, that is unfortunate. Ren is in a massive deficit right now. Corius, five against a uh, five game lead, A2 free. Oh, tries to go for the parry once again. That wasn't even in range, so he couldn't even kill it. Slash just pulls back once again. And Ren being super patient this time around. 6 HS combo once again. And 80 meter, almost 90. Plenty to play with. Does not commit to the teleport. So that's nice. If that happened, it would be a really nasty situation. And this is the route that I've been talking about. Link into the super. Still gets the route though. 
Both players more or less the same life, but he has the super available. One more situation for Ren. Deep dash into the grab. Bait and double bait using that projectile this time. The Void Claws slashes his way through. Once again, the L. Double L fireball it's this time around, but Corius manages to get past his hand here. Should get enough meter for the ultimate as well, but ooh, Red sees that once again, commits to the high block. Tries to escape from the corner, and nice hit, great conversion. And back to you after that situation, just so, so gnarly. Once again, the air grab. SSVA available, gets the cross up. And he will get the clean hit because of that micro dash. Oh wait, no, he does not. We've seen that clean hit before, but that wasn't the situation. Red will get smacked with death two times in a row, and all came from that one to you when Corey started to take his turn. Everything just snowballed from there. He just needed that one hit. And speaking of that one hit, this time is a far heavy. Yatsura Agio! Slash! And Brave Counter at the right time, and Corius will be caught mashing for the tech. Flies in once again, counter hit, that's a combo! But he does not confirm fully, he has 100 meter though. And again, that's who you defuses the situation nicely, killing death. But jumps to bait, nice close L connects from that height. Gonna make sure it kills. Super. Woo! Brings it back a bit tight. These sets are going so, so quickly. There we have been in 12 games already but this is so tight it's not it's not like everyone is exploding around the screen it's both players jostling for position they are playing situations because each player goes into the opponent's offensive situation it's just just so so bad 53 meter available for Ren pops into the head makes him aware of the option and look at that spacing Corey is trying to preemptively defend against his advances but the Valstrax will connect and that is just so so much damage Getting those plus frames from the clone. And look at that to you. Even if he doesn't cancel, he just gains so much control at that range. Tries to fly him once again. Corius dodges successfully, but he will get spooked by the teleport into the corner. Corius caught mashing over there. A bit too late. Ooh, wow, dodges the death, but that would get punished instead. This time going for the lockdown option, but Ren does not confirm even from the 2L4L. No record to carry him to the quarter, but it is coming back online. His cooldowns are on. He has access to his full combo and full resource currently. Death only at 8 stocks and is offline for now. Corius has it back online. Gonna get the quarter switch right here. 83, 86. Watch the meter. Karakida. Trying to use that dash M to catch his movement, but we haven't seen that often. But the DP will catch Red this time. It is when you least expect it when you're trying, where you're trying to defuse death, when you're most conditioned to. Chorus pulls out the DP and converts you for massive damage. That's a punish. That's not convert though. Red takes the chance, brings him to the corner. Does not go for the fireball despite the cooldown and the fuzzy once again being caught by that mouse strike. Look at that damage. Combo limit though. No matches this time around. And the DP will get caught. Corius will have to rely on his normals for now to establish the situation. That back online. And Red. I was gonna say he's maintaining his distance, but he just goes in when Corius is looking out for it. Caught staring at his advance, and Ren will be chasing back two games. Look at that preemptive jump forward against Corius's aggressive movement. Gets pulled back though. Oh, DP expecting that dive to follow through. And will he do the light fireball? He will go for that setup. Tries to do the double bait once again. Corius getting thrown around like a ragdoll over here. And nice far out. No, I mean dash out convert into a full combo. No Oki option though. Oh nice. Great buffer by Ren. Ooh, that jump was what a call out. He was looking for Corius to press over there. 
tries to go over the two well into the ground. Different type of frame data. And Ren might die here. He has two stocks left, and Death is gonna have max damage. Zero BB left. That is it. Just such a brutal combo. The damage is just massive on this character. Woo! Battle two. Engage. Using that too with you to start with. We haven't seen Kari's use that yet. So that's a nice representation. Ren is aware now, though. Taking the advantage in the corner. 69 meter. And we're going for the bait once again. He Corius has been conditioned to sit down. So so much tries to mash out of the corner. But Ren just reads his mind, smacks him in the face, counter hit into a perfect. Rubies. Oh, not yet. We got one more to go. And look at that jump. Once again, Korra is successful and here with the DP. Begins moments to convert and nice! Omitting the follow-ups in order to get that combo stability. Goes for the grab, keeping the corner position. But look at that! To you, whip punish. Corius gets rewarded with a whole setup, a full-blown setup as if he wasn't in the corner just now. DB once again successful after that jab. Recovered fast enough. Red not trying to delete death right now. Trying to find a space. Double teleport gets a hit twice. Oh! oh! <laughs> Two teleport hits. And that's a finish. Red getting that game back. Fighting for the position. Not letting Chorus breathe for a single second. You're not reacting to this teleport in time. And nice. Using that opening once again, Corey is starting to get used to it. Tries to run under the projectile to punish, but the 2M will grant him a full combo once again. We represent the crossover once again. Okay, a bit close this time around, so he eats that BC. Only 7 stacks left. Going for the DP full pressure string, and that's a combo? No, he does not. The value is not there yet. He will cash it out right now. Forces the BC out, and that's the whiff punish for it. Core is completely in his own. Sitting on that game lead very nicely. You really do get the luxury of that. And that EX recovery. Death did not die because of that. Because it's faster. Expecting that DP will also be deadly. And tries to whiff punish as well. Seven stocks remaining. Not shy to use them. Gets the counter hit. That show. That's a full combo. Pop. And the setup. Baits out the BC. Stays blocking. Keeps the advantage. But Red will successfully escape. Gets tagged by the 2U after the break counter situation, though. Just so so gnarly. Wait, what? He does not get a combo over there. Only a punish. Tries to dodge. Red using both of them. Burning out the tank. And Corius has such a huge life lead. Will he be able to do it? Tries to go for a Marco Dash combo. Gonna maximize at this point. Gets the tag on the toes. Death is not back yet. And the Super will come getting him once back. And Corey is to zero. DB option on the deck. What's the gas? But the DB will come out the ultimate. And Corius will be on set point. Believe in victory. Just committed to it. Engage. Oh no, this is not nice. Corius staggering his dash outs very nicely. Putting death behind him. Back dashing, changing up the timings. Red is getting one punish against that. The parry does not go through. Slashes, look at the chip damage. Look at the range, he can't touch. He can't touch near. But finally, he escapes the corner. Goes back in for the re-engage. Resets that combo. And Ren still has full resources to use. Corius only has the meter advantage, but that might be gone if Ren gets a single hit. But Masters on the landing. Super available. Raging Strike will end it. And Corius on set point. We go for the Fireball starter once again. That's not this time around, but he will go for the medium version of the claws. Does not convert to a full combo, unfortunately, but will get caught by the death follow-ups. The Q system kicking in. Prioritizing that wall carry. Fireball allowing the plus range to stack it. Look at that. 2L Michael Dash into the fireball, baiting that throw. And Ren has full meter currently. Gets caught by the DP though. Oh, that 2M. Just so so fast. How are you reacting to that? Oh, commits to the frame trap. Dive kick, not low enough, so he won't get the combo. Gets that from behind. With the ultimate dive, Corius. 
Not over yet. Trying to get comfortable. Yeah, Corey is playing aggressive, but gets caught by the dive once again. The claws. Gotta keep him on his toes, but look at that. He after that auto combo, he just can't disengage because of the two-year range. So so massive. His far heavy is gonna come in. It does! Peter available, but he'll use probably use the 236U as expected from the set. BC used late. Does not mash out the death though. If he matches the death, he was basically dead there. Oh, smash him in the face! This might be it! Wait, did he strike? It does! And combo limit! One more sequence! And Ren will get defeated by Corius, who has had such a commanding presence over the Oki. Such a tight game. This is not one of those explosion games at all. It is a calculated defensive offensive tug of war. This is such a different vibe from what we have hosted so far previously. We got Genitz and Yamana on an offensive blowdown and it turned into a footsie war. We got Shosan and Rookies on an full on um, flying spree. Like everyone was just flying around the screen. But this one, both players jostling for position, trying to outsmart each other on offense. But Corius, such lockdown presence just so much oppression down there forcing so many defensive options and most importantly a lot of brave counters baited just so many openings and one thing Corius does not do is just go in when he has the ground blue zone his far heavy facilitates so much of the offense he has had catches jumps catches movement locks you down into the heavy just buffering his specials and congratulations to Corius for winning the first to 10 10 to 6 against Ren. So we'll be going on the call to ask for their opinions, ask about their thoughts about the match. So let's get in there. Hi. Hello. Uh, congratulations to Corius for winning and thanks uh, to both players for joining us this time. May I ask uh, for Corius if you have anything to say about the set? Your offense was really strong and a lot of brave counters baited. あ、まずはあの、コリアスさんね、Wait a minute, please. No problem. Ah, uh, yeah, thank, thank you for much. Uh, from the middle of the, uh, this stream, uh, the, uh, at the edge of the screen was painful. Uh, Nia's power helped to me. Uh, it was, uh, but I am happy to have won. Thank you. Hmm. May I ask for Ren's uh, words if you have anything to say about the set? Ren ヒョリタクをその前転しゃがみみたいなやつで結構釣られて食らってしまってたのであれはかなりきつかったなって思いましたね途中いい感じにあのあの巻き返せそうかなってちょっと思ったんですけどもやっぱりコリスさんめち
A bá t- mm, I, I hope to revenge you again. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Ren and Chorus, for joining. And Chorus, congratulations for winning this time. And of course, thank you to Ren, who has agreed to this match a long time ago. Thanks for your patience. And of course, we get to see your brilliant gameplay. Maybe next time we'll see another character. And last question for you all. Uh, are you guys going to participate in any tournaments, especially the gold ones? The gold ah, arts tournaments? Mm. Okay. あ、そうですね。お二方にお聞きしたいことがあるんですが、えっと、例えばこの10先で見てみたいキャラクターがいたら教えてもらえますかまずじゃあ、コリウスさんお願いします。はい。あの、それでしたらやっぱり、ちょ